<laughs> now previously we've talked about electronic structure but now we've got into a new bit of chemistry which is also just as important because it actually shows how most things in the periodic table will react with each other. Now an ion is when an atom loses or gains electrons. Now we've talked about that. Electrons have a thing called negative charge. That means an ion is a charged atom. But it's all about whether it loses or gains the electrons. Now, the first one we have is metals. Now, I do this in two different rules. One is for metals. The other is for non-metals. Now, the first rule is metals are losers. Now, if we think about it, what are they going to lose? They're going to lose their outer shell. So, we have metals are losers, they will lose their outer shell. Now, let's just have a look at an example of that. If I have sodium, I'll draw this in very quickly, it is 2, 8, One. So, if it's to lose its outer shell, it will turn into 2, 8. So we have 2, 8, 1, 2, 2, 8. Now, this means with sodium, I have 11 protons and 11 electrons. Suddenly, I have 11 protons and only 10 electrons. So if I have lost a negative charge, that gives me a positive charge, is what we put in these brackets here. It is a plus one charge, but I don't have to put the one. I'll do one more example. If I have aluminium, that is two, eight, three, two, eight, three. It's going to lose its outer shell to make two, eight, plus there, to make two, eight. But as I've lost three electrons, that makes it a three plus charge, because I now have sorry, 13 protons and 10 electrons. This is when we go on to our non-metals. Now non-metals, they are not losers of their outer shell anymore, they now are gainers. They gain to fill. They gain to fill their outer energy level, rather than right shell. So we're going to use a couple of examples on this. The first one will be fluorine. Now fluorine began with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that was two, seven. Suddenly, when this gains to fill in its outer energy level, we get two, uh, 
Now we have that one gap there where it should be eight, and so it has gained it. Now you're going to notice that I used a cross instead of a dot. That's to show it's come from somewhere else. So it is two, eight, and because I now have one extra electron, two, eight, minus. Now we can do this again. I'll use oxygen. Actually, yes, oxygen. Oxygen began as two, six. It now has those two gaps left open. It gains to fill those two gaps. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. To gain to fill those gaps makes it to eight. Which is A2 minus charge. Now I will notice that I have two eight, two eight three plus. I have two eight minus, I have two eight two minus. These are all what we call noble gas structures. And that is everything in ions. So I'll just recap it very quickly. Ions are charged particles when we lose or gain electrons. Metals lose electrons. Non-metals, they gain electrons. Metals lose their whole outer shell to make positive charges. Non-metals gain to fill their outer shell. So they gain negative charges. These are noble gas structures with two, two eight, two eight eight.